back to the 80s with this fun glam rock 80s makeup. This look is filled with vibrant neon colors, all from NYX Cosmetics, along with, of course, lots of glitter. Okay, so get in your time machines and let's go. <clears throat> I mean, let's get started. Getting a little too into this. To start off, I've already applied my foundation, concealer, and filled in my brows, so now we can get straight to the fun part. <laughs> Randomly dancing before the tutorial. I don't know. When you feel the groove, you just can't give in. All right, so I'm going to start by applying a generous amount of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as a base for my makeup. And I'm bringing it out to the sides to form more of a rounded edge and deep down into those inner corners. This will make you look super fierce, and those neon colors are going to be like BAM with this white base, if you know what I mean. So next, using a thin flat brush from my NYX Professional Makeup Brush set and this NYX Melly Yellow Eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this to the inner corners of my lower lid and bring it halfway to the center lid and this is really going to make my eyes look brighter. Oh, and don't worry if you color outside of the lines because all these colors are going to be blended together later. Then using a larger NYX flat brush and this NYX eyeshadow in summer green, I'm going to apply this to the outer lower lid and wing it out to the sides for a more dramatic look. And you want the wing to be semi-thick, but of course it depends on how dramatic you want this look to be. So for our next glitterful eyeshadow, and this is literally glitterful, this is the NYX eyeshadow in hot orange, and it's filled with glitter, so it's literally a glitterful eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply this just above the yellow, taking it halfway to the top of my lid. And this color kind of reminds me of the sun because it like sparkles like the sun. And it's the same color as the sun. Okay. Way off the subject. So next, taking this hot pink eyeshadow from NYX. I'm just going to apply this on the outer V of my eye. And I'm also going to wing this out just above that green wing. And this is just going to add some extra dramatization to the eyes. And this is the most beautiful color. And it has blue undertones. And that's one of the reasons I love it so much. So now we're going to spice this look up a little bit with this blue NYX eyeshadow in irises. And this eyeshadow is so pretty. It has little sparklies in it. And using the skinniest little flat brush from NYX, I applied this to the crease of my eye and winged it out to the sides. And what this does is it separates the colors while adding color, definition, and depth. Whew. That was a description, right? Right. Okay, so then using a white highlight, I just applied this on my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eye to really make those colors burst. So just below my waterline, starting with a light blue eyeshadow and gradually adding darker blues to fade into a dark purple eyeshadow, you want this look to look faded. And it kind of reminds me of tie-dye, but that's the 70s. Then for the purple shadow, I drew it out to form a line. So as you can see, it formed somewhat of a gap. So using this small flat brush from NYX, I filled it in with a red shadow, followed by an orange shadow, and then a yellow shadow, which I sweeped out to the sides. And this is going to create that same faded effect. And guess what? We are finished with our eyeshadow. Oh, and feel free to add any more extra touch-ups to your eyeshadow because sometimes the yellow can get lost in all that green. I'm using a black eye marker for my top lid, and I find using a marker gives you a lot more control because a liquid, let's just say if you mess up, it's not pretty. Then using my NYX Retractable Black Eyeliner, I applied this to my waterline and a little bit on my tight line, and I was so impressed with the quality of this, and it went on so smooth, and I loved it so much. Okay, so now for the really, really fun part, and that is glitter. So I just applied a little glitter to the top of my eyeshadow or the top of my lid. What am I talking about? And next, I'm just going to curl my lashes and prepare them for mascara. So using my NYX Pin Up Tease Mascara in black, which has this really awesome curved wand, I applied a light coat of this to my lashes before I applied these Glamtastic Purple Lashes. And I fell in love with these when I saw them. So after applying my lashes, I then applied mascara to my lower lashes. And now my lashes are ready to rock, dude. I'm such a dork. Okay, so next, using this pink poppy cream blush stick by NYX, I just applied a little bit of this to each cheek, and I kind of look like Raggedy Ann here with this bright round blush, so let's try to avoid that dolly look by using a fluffy brush to blend that blush in. Oh, that was a tongue twister. So using my Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil, I'm going to apply a little bit of this to my Cupid's bow to make my lips look a little more puckerific and full. Then using my NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in Chaos, I'm applying this as a base for my lip gloss, and this will make my lip gloss last longer. And this is such a beautiful fuchsia color. I love it so much. Then I applied my Dolly Girl Extreme Lip Cream by NYX for the last but definitely not least step in this 80s makeup journey. So you know what that means? Yes. That's all for this look. Okay, so I know I said the tutorial was over, but it really isn't because I'm 
welcome back. I wanted to ask you what's your favorite 80s movie. Make sure you leave it in the comments below because I've probably seen Pretty in Pink over a thousand times. All right, so moving on here. I'm sure you're wondering about these neon 80s nails here. I'm wearing several of NYX's bright and vibrant neon nail polishes, and these nail polishes are amazing. I'm actually still wearing them now, and they have not chipped once. So some of the colors I used are hot yellow, hot green, and hot orange. And this angled retro nail design is super easy to recreate. So now that you know how to nail this look, <laughs> I love that pun, you are ready to rock. Oh yeah. So whether you're going to a fun 80s theme party or event, rocking an 80s glam costume, or just wanting to sport some fun yet amazing old classic trends in today's fashion world, this look will bring you back to a decade that really set the bar for makeup and fashion history. So as always, thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. Is this thing on? Okay, it's on. Good. Special thanks to NYX Cosmetics for all of their amazing products that they sent me. And if you really enjoyed my entry for the NYX Face Awards contest, please don't forget to cast your vote for Glitter Forever 17, which is me. <laughs> I'm sure you knew that. To move on to the next round. And all of the links to vote will be in the description below. And I could really use your vote, so please vote for me. And thank you so much. And your support really means a lot. Hey, hey.